too fast. We have conquered Salah. Alhamdulillah. What is that? Yeah, what is that? You are insulting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather read short and clear than to read long and unclear and insult to Allah. Who said you have to finish the Quran? Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a go funny lungu back with another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Mufti Meng, but before that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course don't forget to subscribe. Um I feel like I need to address this in almost every video because there'll always be that poor person asking. Um I've seen about two comments on two different videos, I guess, asking why we're posting videos separately. Um, if you want to get the real details on why we're doing that, you can check out our other channel, Funny and Jesse 2.0, and we'll give details there. So yeah, like I said, if you're new to this channel, my name is Funny Lungu, and today we're going to be reacting to Mufti Meng. A big shout out to everyone that's been subscribing to us giving us things to react to and just keeping us going each and every day we're very thankful like i said we send our love your way we're very very grateful like you guys don't even understand what beyond grateful like even words can't express how happy we are without saying too much let's get into the video allahu akbar may allah protect us we don't know anything. We have no clue. Let me give you one other example. This I was told by one of the mashayikh. He says, there was a man who was fulfilling salah. And he was an irregular, but he made his tawbah and he came to the masjid. So he arrived at Salatul Fajr. And I hope my brothers and sisters that not a single one of us misses Salatul Fajr tomorrow morning. Is that a promise? By the will of Allah. You know, inshallah means two, three things. I, I'm sure you're away. <laughs> if you say inshallah, then you say, are you coming to my house? I say inshallah. Then when they don't come, you say, did I say yes? I just said inshallah. <laughs> you got to say yes, inshallah. So are we ready tomorrow morning? Fajr? Yes. And the other four salahs as well. <laughs> Mashallah. Not just Fajr. Okay. So this man walks in for Salatul Fajr and he's standing. And the Imam starts reading Surah Al-Baqarah. Okay. He reads Surah Al-Baqarah. And it's a nice long surah. You know, Surah Al-Baqarah is very long. So this man is standing and he's thinking, hey, this Imam is reading long. Now, one of the cries of the masjid, my beloved Imams who lead the salah, do not over lengthen your salah. Stick to that which is sunnah and understand it and realize that when you lengthen your salah, sometimes you are discouraging the weak ones behind you from coming for the next salah. So if you are standing and reading beautifully and the microphone is good and mashallah everything is beautiful and nice and the weather is beautiful and you are just prolonging, prolonging, there are some of those Surah Baqarah people at the back, you know. <laughs> so you need to remember they are still a bit weak, you know. So that is one of the cries of the masjid is, you know, calm down, cool it a little bit. Maybe you rather read a bit shorter so they come back. And we don't want to read quick in a way that we are insulting Allah. You know, taraweeh time in the house of Allah, Many of the Imams, they read like a concord. That's why they have stopped the concord now. Do you know that? <laughs> concord is blocked, banned, finished, no more. All of them that are still there, they are just in museums. Because it's too fast. We have concord salah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, what is that? You are insulting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather read short and clear than to read long and unclear an insult to Allah. Who said you have to finish the Quran? To finish the Quran is a sunnah which is very great, but not at the expense of speed, never ever. Remember that. And this I'm addressing us as Imams who lead in the masjid. People say, I went and I listened to the whole Quran. That man used to finish Taraweeh in 10 minutes. Oh, what did you hear? You just heard the humming of a bee, that's all. Like a sound of a mosquito. <laughs> coming to your ear and that's all you knew may Allah protect us so this man came in for salah and he's reading the surah al-baqarah is being read and he, at the end of the salah you know he looked at the man next to him nudged him he says hey this imam read very long which surah did he read so he says it is called surah al-baqarah which means the cow 
and it is the longest surah in the Quran. So he said, okay, now I must ask before I start my salah, which surah is being read? <laughs> so Al-Baqarah was very, very long. So now he came for salah al-Maghrib, the poor fellow, and he started Allahu Akbar. So Imam finished Walad Dalin and he starts, he starts, Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabil fil. So this man nudges the other one and says, you know what, before you start, what surah is this? He says, this is the elephant, Al-Feel. <laughs> so that man says, if Baqarah was so long, I'm sure Feel must be even longer, let me go away. My brothers and sisters, remember, this is the attitude and mentality of some of the public, because they are weak. So he says, no, this is one of the shortest surahs in the Quran. The reason I'm saying this, many reasons, there are many benefits for all of us, but one of them is, we have not yet made an effort to know the surahs and their meanings. That is why we do not achieve the sweetness within the salah. I have had occasions where I have led personally some long salawat of Salatul Fajr and some people have come to me and told me, Sheikh, you should have read even longer. The meaning was so powerful. Subhanallah, that is the type of statement we need. But we don't know the meaning, we're not bothered. Like I always say, we've studied so many books in order to achieve all those ology degrees we spoke about moments ago. But we haven't studied the one book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, nor have we studied the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It requires an effort. It requires dedication. It requires time of work. It requires a lot. You have no guarantee that you will live to old age when you can do that. So let's do it as soon as we can. Mufti Mank is um, one of the people I enjoy reacting to. He's just, he's insanely crazy, uh, funny. Like, he's crazy funny. It's just, he's enjoyable to react to, enjoyable to listen to. He's just, I like the way he passes out um, his, his message. It's, you, you're just drawn into him and whatever he has to say and what, like you just get what he says he's just that good um i wish and i speak for myself i wish i could understand or even speak arabic because then it would be easier to understand everything that he says um if even this video would even be more funnier it was still funny but it would be more funnier i think arabic is quite cute a cute language i should say but getting to the message i should agree with him that um guys even if it's a church or something long when someone preaches for long you just drive off to somewhere else you lose your concentration it is important to preach in such a manner where um you don't go too far you're not too short you just there you meet everyone so that you don't lose their focus you don't lose their attention so yeah, like i said if your preaching is long or if you're pre you're talking about something that's just going to take forever people get bored that's why people lose focus time and time again there's some selfish people that say uh well at least they're attending Consider other people, consider, make sure, teach teach or preach so that someone understands what you're talking about. Don't just preach or talk about something for the sake of just talking about it. I hope, I mean, it's just that easy. Just say something in order for someone to learn from it, grab from it, maybe apply it to their life. I think it would make things way way easy like i said move to Mank is just amazing he's he wasn't his this was just too interesting too too interesting preachings should be cut short to catch our attention and make them enjoyable make them fun like we, we just spoke about something look at the way we work so hard for our degrees we enjoy what we do we enjoy whatever we study to get those grades to get to attend those degrees 
when we were reading novels or very so were very very so excited about them to the extent that we remember whatever we read in those novels but when it comes to um godly things or very very quick to forget because some people take it as a joke i feel like some people take it as an obligation i'm expected to do this so let me do it for the sake of doing but then at the end of the day you're forgetting do it because you want to do it because your heart is drawn to it do it because like i said you really want to do it do it for yourself learn from it learn it by heart not just by head and yeah so let me know what you feel about this video and keep the reactions coming shout out to the person that suggested this funny video by the way this was um the cow and the elephant move to make true story so yeah let me know what you feel about this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and see you in our next reaction video